Glory be to God on high and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am blessed and highly favored on this January the 19th, 2017. Good morning, YouTube, beloved, precious viewers and subscribers and brothers and sisters. Gather around oh, the eve of the Trump inauguration. Gather around. We're going to talk about a few things. This morning, I'm going to have my coffee to start my day. Let me know what you're going to share with Pastor Dave and do that now in the comment section below. A couple things to go over today. I'm heading out to the city of uh, Flint and Burton and Mount Morris today. I, I want to try to do a video if I can. There is a, a lady in Mount Morris who has been... Uh, putting together a food pantry and feeding the homeless and feeding the people that uh, do not have enough food to get through the month and uh, the city council shut her down. Well, I'm going to try to do a video on that a little bit later. So much crisis in the inner cities and I hope, I hope Donald Trump and I pray for Donald Trump, I pray that somehow change can really happen and that our homeless vets that are on the street that they can... Uh, find uh, housing and get to the VA. That's the main thing. They can't get to their doctor's appointments. They can't get to the VA and they end up uh, part of the invisible people of the street. Bikers for Trump, they're heading out. Uh, I guess they're already there and that's going to be interesting uh, to see as the crowd chants and the crowd gets louder and louder. Even though it's raining, the rain won't stop them. It's going to be uh, rainy but warm in D.C. tomorrow at the inauguration, and I'm sure that they're going to be twisting the throttles. When I'm talking about, if you ride motorcycles, you know what I mean by twisting the throttle. Then it'll be a thunder, a thunder of noise by the bikers for Trump. And I just pray everything goes uh, to God's plan, and that's God's will. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a video later on my thoughts. I'm going to give you my perspective on uh, society today and uh, how so many people are just um, brainwashed by the mainstream media news when it comes to Donald Trump, and that's coming up. I want to thank all of you for all of your support for my wife yesterday and our very first Temple Healing natural remedies that work and uh she's going to try to get to the comments i know it's very she now she sees what pastor dave goes through it's very difficult to answer all of the questions our next segment on temple health natural remedies that work is going to be on the heartbreak of psoriasis something that i have been dealing with for a number of years natural remedies for psoriasis and i've got one i'm not going to give it away you're going to have to tune in sometime tomorrow because i have got a natural remedy from god that works that really works i've tried so many so many products on the market this is all natural i'm not going to say anymore i'm not going to say any more Prayer requests, we have two prayer requests today, and uh, I'm going to get to our prayer request now. I'm going to call all of our prayer warriors together across the world, across the internet airways to pray uh, with faith and believing and in agreement for the following. First prayer request is from my precious, precious sister. She's done so much. To help this ministry, our ministry in outreach to the homeless, and to support this ministry. And her name is Robin, and this is her prayer request. If you get time, I have been ill since before New Year's Eve. I am getting so discouraged, dizziness, my eyes won't focus. Achiness and headaches. I can't do anything but lay on the couch, and I'm getting so discouraged. I would appreciate all the prayer I can get. God bless you and all that you do. Thank you for caring. We're going to lift Robin up in prayer, but I want to take you to the book of Mark, the 11th chapter, verse 24. So I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe 
but you have received it and it will be yours let's go before an amazing god the great god the god of israel the god of abraham isaac and jacob and what i want you to do prayer warriors at home i want you to extend your hand out to robin as we lift her up in prayer let us pray father god you are an amazing amazing god father we just love you we love you so much father god we give you the honor we give you the glory and the praise father god father we come together in prayer believing with faith in agreement as we lift up to you to your capable loving arms father god our precious sister robin we lift her up to you god father she is very discouraged she has not been well since before new year's eve father god you know this need before we ever ask you know everything about robin she's been having headaches and dizziness and just not feeling well father we join together in agreement with faith and believing father we pray in the name of jesus that you will just reach down your hand from heaven and touch our precious sister robin that she be healed in the name of your son that by his stripes she is healed we pray this in agreement we claim this today and we thank you now father god for the healing power within the name of jesus the name of jesus our messiah our kinsman redeemer by the blood that was shed on calvary i cast out all disease all sickness all discouragement from our sister cleanse her father god cleanse her of all impurities from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet i plead the blood of jesus upon our precious sister robin that she be healed that she be healed in jesus precious name amen and we all said amen the second prayer request uh did not come from our website it's from my wife christy it's for her father my father-in-law his name is ted he's 83 years old and at that that age he's having surgery tomorrow at about 12 o'clock noon and because of his fragile condition and his age let's all join together and lift ted up in prayer let's extend our hand out to ted as we pray with faith and believing in the name of jesus let's go before the most high living god let us pray father god you are the great god father nothing is impossible for you father we lift up in prayer with faith and believing our precious brother ted who is having surgery tomorrow he has lived a long life serving you father god he loves you so much father 83 years old and he is having hernia surgery tomorrow father i pray in the name of jesus that you will send your angels around him to comfort him but jesus the healer and by his stripes we are healed but jesus will assist the hands of the surgeons tomorrow but his body though old and frail return to the way you intended it to be let a healing take place so there is a testimony father a testimony of you and your amazing love and the love that you have for all of your children this we pray in jesus precious name amen and amen god bless you all if you uh, are in need of prayer go to our website www dot trumpet of god ministries dot com www dot trumpet of god ministries dot com 
and click on the contact tab and uh, send me your prayer request. All glory to God. I'll be back. I've got a few things on my chest I want to get off. Speaking of this diet, this ketogenic diet that we uh, debuted our Temple of Health uh, segment, Natural Remedies that work. It's working for me. I lost three more pounds this morning. Thank you, Jesus, and I have energy and I feel wonderful. Please consider supporting our ministry and outreach to the homeless. I want to thank precious sister Linda. I got a box. I'm telling you, I got a box of these. It's on the floor. I don't want to pick it up. It's heavy. It's pretty heavy. Emergency blankets. I've got a whole case of these to distribute to the homeless. February the 4th or 5th. I'm going to have to do another video on this. I want to thank again the Genesee Michigan Militia, the Genesee County Volunteer Militia. They are going out in numbers to find the homeless and to tend to them. February, I think it's February the 4th or let me Let me check real quick. Let me just check. Bear with me for a moment. Bear with me. Stay with me. I'll do another video on this to, just to let everybody know the love of uh, the love of Christ is within so many people. Let me find Leah. Uh, February fourth is the Operation Day. You are invited to help us find the homeless, and that's the Genesee County Volunteer Militia Homeless Distribution. The Genesee County Volunteer Militia are hitting the streets again with Pastor Dave. Tentatively, February 4th, there will be volunteers finding the homeless in the Flint and Burton areas to give them items to help them survive the cold and the everyday needs. If you missed the donation deadline last time, here's your chance. Toothbrushes, uh, hygiene care products, travel soaps, combs, brushes, wash washcloths, coats, hats, gloves, blankets, batteries, all sizes, small flashlights used backpacks we are packing lunch sacks also this money comes out of our broke pockets so if you can help with gift cards for kroger or meyer that would be great and i'm uh, extending that to all of my viewers as well just touches my heart because we live in such an evil day and an evil age and the church today is blind. They're looking for asteroids and while they're waiting on that blessed hope, they're looking for death and destruction. I'm looking to try to save lives. I'm looking to shout to come to Jesus now. We can't do this without your support. To no other offering. Oh, there has been one more offering. Hang on. Hang on. Let me, uh, I'm sorry I just get so upset when I'm talking about the homeless. Bear with me for a moment. There has been one offering besides our blankets uh, yesterday. It is just so difficult for me. I want to thank uh, uh, Don. Donald for $60 gift to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. I will put the links below. God bless you today.